Hi guys, welcome back. So here are the results from my last video on the future format of the Six Nations, what you would prefer to see. Now, as you can see from the results, there's a very, very clear winner. And also apologies for getting that link up a little bit late, I had some problems with that. But certainly we've got plenty of votes in and a clear and obvious decision from you guys is keep the Six Nations as it is. There are a few votes for all the different combinations that I put out there, but really, pretty simple keep it as is however in the comments to that video loads of you were talking about let's keep it european let's try and develop european rugby and the preferred option for doing that with the sticking with the six nation as it is is introducing promotion and relegation now this is something that's been talked about for a while whoever finishes bottom of the six nations has a playoff with whoever finishes the top of the rugby europe international championships now that's a championships that actually has five different levels and they have promotion and relegation between them. The top level, the championship, as everything's called these days, is normally won by Georgia. Last four years, Georgia have won it. Romania, uh, before that, they are pretty much the two main um, entities in Europe pushing up. But there's no promotion to the highest level of European rugby, let's say, and that's the Six Nations. And of course, that's mainly because the Six Nations isn't controlled by Rugby Europe. Should it be? Well, it's kind of irrelevant. It's, it's gone. That horse has bolted, let's say. I mean, it's a fantastic option rugby-wise. If it was to happen, just imagine it. Maybe a two-leg home-and-away playoff between the bottom Six Nations team and Georgia. It probably would be Italy and Georgia on repeat, potentially, but... You could get teams in there like Romania, of course. You could have teams, say, like England have a really bad year um, and they are in that fight as well. What jeopardy. It would be exciting to watch. However, unfortunately, I just don't see this happening, certainly yet at least. The Six Nations would have to vote to put development of rugby over money, and that's a big ask. Um, investors certainly won't want to invest in something that is less certain, so they really would lose a lot of money, but... Let's say Italy's results continue to be very poor. They don't win any games for another decade, let's say. Maybe the pressure from fans, from the media, maybe that they start pushing towards that. It would be great to see, although I'm not sure it will happen, if ever, to be honest. So it's a shame. It's a great idea, though. And the video was about what you, would you prefer to see rather than what would happen. That being said, I just want to finish on what I think probably will happen in the future anyway um, and since that video dropped last time the japan story just came out saying they were officially talking to the six nations and the rugby championship because they are desperate to join a major world championships uh, outside of that four-year cycle with the world cup they want regular top level competition get the income of course develop their team but their preference is the rugby championship and that makes sense. I mean, they're in the same sort of time zone. They share players, you know, as in players from New Zealand, Australia often go to Japan. Sure, they're from other places in the world, but that's you know, a big area where they get players from. It just makes sense. It would be a better balance for the world rugby wise. And I really think the rugby championship should snap them up. Because um, if they don't, they're desperate for that competition and maybe the Six Nations would get in there then and that would just make the Six Nations so unbelievably strong, even stronger than it is. Um, I'm not sure it would be a great thing for the Rugby Championship or just rugby worldwide in general. Um, so that would be interesting, but I do think Japan probably will be joining the Rugby Championship at some point. But then the final question is, what about South Africa? Now, rugby-wise, it would be exciting to see South Africa in there. Plenty of you guys don't like the idea of making it a non-European competition, which is fair enough. But then we've got this thing where South Africa are now domestically tied with Europe. And I think there's a genuine chance that South Africa could join the Six Nations, making it maybe a revised Six Nations or a Seven Nations. I do think that's a possibility. It would be a shame to lose those traditions of playing in the rugby championship as it is now. In particular, not having those guaranteed matches every year against their massive rivals, New Zealand. 
the rugby championship would really lose out most out of this that would be a big blow to lose south africa so i kind of don't hope it happens but i can also see south africa joining the six nations i'm really seeing that as 50 50 let me know what you guys think certainly fascinating to see how it all pans out anyway guys thank you so much for the vote it was a really interesting topic pop all the comments below and i will catch you next time